Hey guys, Don Cassavoy here with DeadOnHunting.com. What we're going to do today is we're going to take our venison from last year and we're going to make it into sausage sticks and do some brats. What we have here is our Cabela's. This is a half horsepower grinder. It comes with all your attachments. And then we're going to try and use, today we're going to test the backwoods um, seasonings and see how those are. And once we get these all made up, we're going to take them outside to the smoker and then we're going to smoke them. and. We'll have some snack sticks for the beginning of the season for us, which starts in a week. So um, we're just getting rid of all our leftover venison and we're going to put it to some good use. That way we can refill the freezer. What we have here is some pork shoulder we got from our local butcher. We're going to grind that up and then um, it's 20% fat to uh, your venison burger. So we're going to grind that up together, take the seasonings, and then we're going to uh, mix it all up and then we're going to stuff them in these casings here. These are what we're going to use for our brats and then these are the ones we're going to use for our snack sticks. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to take our pork shoulder, we're going to grind it all up here and then we'll separate it into our um, individual two pounds because we're going to do um, 10 pounds of sausage sticks and then we're going to do just six pounds of brat. So. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started with this. Okay. And just for this step, we're taking, we're using the, um, the coarse grinding. They have two different ones. They have a real fine, and then we have a coarse. You know, just to get this big stuff, you use the coarse. shoulder um, it's all divided into one pound portions because we're going to do um, start out with five pounds these are the five pound packages of um, seasoning for five pounds of beef or venison I should say and then we're going to need two pounds of the pork shoulder per five pounds so what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take our five ounces of water we'll put it in here and then we're going to pick one of these uh, if we're going to start we're going to do the original today And dump it in here. Oh, it smells awesome. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, this is the cure packet. That's got to go in there also. Empty, not within the package. Would help. All right. Now what we want to do is just this has got to dissolve in the water. Make sure you get all the seasoning in there, it's just all the goodness. Smells awesome. Just want to lick the fork when I'm done. This is all dissolved in our bowl. What we're going to do is we're going to take our venison, five pounds of venison, put it in here, and then we're going to take two pounds of the pork shoulder, put it in here, we're going to mix it all up, grind it one more time, and then we'll be ready to stuff our sausage. People don't realize how much you can do with venison. They want to take it and just mix it up real good in here. So it's almost got a tacky consistency. I'm half tempted to make a hamburger out of this. Alright, we mix it up real well until it gets tacky. Then what we're going to do is we're going to run it through the grinder one more time just to make sure it mixes up real well. Alright, there we have it. This is our sweet Italian brats we have here. 
So we've got everything mixed together. Um, the original, the hot snack sticks, and then the sweet Italian brats. So what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're gonna clean this up a little bit and get this ready to start stuffing our collagen casings with our meat. All right, you gotta take the blade off. Get it out of the way. And then you just leave this portion in here. And this goes around the end of it. And then this here has got, I think, see, we're gonna be using the, uh, this is the 17 millimeter stuffing tube. And this is for stuffing snack sticks. This goes right on top. Just like this. Put this over the top of there. Put it back together. And we'll turn it on and make sure that nothing's binding up. That's perfect. Alright, these are the cases we're going to use. This is the collagen casings. Pull it out of the package here. All right, we're just gonna take this and stick it on here. Instead of trying to stuff the whole thing on there, that's not happening. So you just kind of take it, pull it apart a little bit, slide it down. You know, work it on there a little bit. All right, what we did is we cut this. It's not all gonna fit on there. So what we're gonna do is we're just cut it and then we're gonna tie it, the knot in the end of it. The idea is to get it all the way on there because you don't want any air in here. We got all our meat up here. We got our collagen casings on here. We'll just go ahead and move this out of the way so you see what we're doing. Now we're gonna turn it on and then we're just gonna help it and feed it along. So let's get started. There you have it. There you go. And then you start all over again. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and stuff these up and then uh, we're gonna stuff the original and get these all stuffed. So we'll go ahead and get this one going. And you wanna keep a little bit of tension on your casing so, so that the skin's nice and stiff, you know. You don't want it to be all wrinkly. All right, now we got this one stuffed. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make these, you know, let's see about here. You just kind of work it back and forth a little bit so you get a little void in there and then you can spin it. You gotta do it carefully though because you don't want to split the skin. There's one. And right about there, I just take a kind of pinch and roll, boys, pinch and roll. And then you twist it. And we're gonna bring this one back around. Right about the so. And we'll twist this one. All right, we got our smoker plugged in. We got it set on medium, which will be right around 220 degrees. Um, we're gonna take the wood chips here and we're gonna put it just right over the burner. Wow. 
lot of snacks here. You gotta make sure you have plenty of room for them all. Got them in the smoker. Um, we're gonna do the hot on the charcoal, and then we'll be able to compare the two and see which one we like better, charcoal or electric. Looks fantastic. I don't even know where to begin. That was worth all the work we put into this. That's excellent. This is the best thing you can do at the end, the beginning of your season. Take your meat that you have left in the freezer, grind it up, make sausage sticks out of it, make beef jerky, you know, just to get the season started. Especially at your deer camp. So this will get everybody going. When everybody gets there, they're like, it's opening day, they're pumped. But once they get some good venison sticks in them, they'll be eager to go hunting for sure. Hang on, I'm smiling though. It's getting smoky in here. Make sure you get all the cedar in there because it's all the goodness. Who would have would be happy about that? <laughs> be angry. <laughs> this is our video. We're on this show. Let's smile. What do you got? And then we'll get rested next time. We'll get ready for the next one. <laughs>